Welcome to the Canada Science and Technology Museum. I'll take you on a short guided tour of the renovation project that we've uh, started a year and a half ago. Um, we affectionately call it the Reboot Project, so follow me and I'll talk as we go. Basically, I'll take you to the first space, which is the temporary hall exhibit where we've upgraded the mechanical system so we can uh, accept uh, blockbuster exhibits through uh, over the next uh, decade or so. So the, ex the mechanical system has been upgraded to a ASHRAE standard A. So more humidification, better control on the overall heating and cooling of the system. So, um, and on top of that, over the last uh, year and a half, we've been upgrading the uh, mechanical system, which we'll see in the room beside it. And this mechanical room has updated the system from a basic bakery to a full-fledged museum with all environmental control to protect the artifacts all the way through. To help us achieve those mechanical standards, we went from our value in the walls, from our maybe one or two from the ceiling and the walls, to our 31 in the ceiling and our 27 in the walls. So that's gonna lower our overall uh, energy consumption in the museum. Uh, we'll show you where all the demos are gonna be done in the near future or when we open. This is the area where children, elderly, uh, all our visitorships are going to be able to witness and be part of uh, cool experiment science that will demonstrate uh, the science and the technology behind uh, different aspects. So as you can see it's going to be a big circle oval and as we're walking on this floor I'll bring your attention that the entire floor area has been leveled off so from the bakery shipping and receiving areas in the past where the museum was on multi-levels uh, the museum took the, took the decision to make it more accessible. So one level floor all the way through, except for an area in the back of the museum where it's at the same level of the train and the technical difficulties of raising trains at that point is where we made the decision to have having only one ramp now in the museum instead of several uh, at the time of closure. Behind the orange tarps, the train bay, which hasn't changed, uh, still uh, pretty much the same except uh, a lot better views of the trains because we made modifications to the access walls going in and brand new mechanical system that we have through the museum. So much better environment for the trains that are staying into the building. Okay, so we're now in the main entrance of our new museum. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger. There's two things. Uh, the entrance is much bigger and it's going to be the beacon of the Science and Technology Museum campus. Uh, the sheer size will attract attention to the main entrance. The other thing I'd like to point out is at the main entrance we will have a full LED uh, screen immersion experience. So as you can see the front entrance, uh, there's a, a small uh, cubicle as you come in, but the main entrance as you can see has been all platted up. That's going to be all LED screen. So you're going to be able to see it from far, but you're going to have a full immersion of the LED process as you're walking in, so you're gonna be fully immersed. Uh, that LED screen is gonna be there to promote uh, science and tech, and it's gonna be there to promote uh, Canadians from coast to coast to coast. We just entered the children's gallery, so as you can see, uh, the walls are going up quickly, uh, and it will be living beside uh, other galleries, but as you can see uh, in the far you have the um, demo stage area. So we're going to turn into one of our classrooms, which we have five of. State of the art uh, classroom are here to promote education, number one. Uh, number two is to ensure that uh, we can deliver programs through uh, the education process. And the fun part of this, uh, these classrooms are they're gonna be, um, kids are gonna be able to learn remotely because uh, we will have the systems in place so uh, kids from coast to coast to coast will be able to learn in these classrooms even if they're not present uh, here. So it's called distance learning. And I guess that's the end of the visit. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.